My name is Anish Bhutani. I'm a director at B Finance, an independent consultancy headquartered in London. I just took part in a global renewables panel that at the uh, IREI conference today. Uh, I think one of the key points that came out of the panel is, is just really the evolution of renewables as an asset class. I think it's fair to say that renewables has emerged and it's very much here to stay, especially given the from a regulatory standpoint, the decarbonisation agenda, this is an asset class that is here to stay. An interesting topic that came up on the panel was the changing economics and the risk-reward spectrum relating to renewable energy. Um, it's clear that investors and managers need to take greater risk in order to deliver the same kind of returns that they were targeting previously, um, be it taking construction risk, be it taking development risk, be it taking hedging risk um, from a financing and contractual perspective. All this means is, is renewables really the same mainstay of an infrastructure portfolio that it used to be? Or is it something that is veering more towards private equity uh, or veering more towards uh, an energy or power, uh, power uh, position in the portfolio that we see many North American investors have? From the economic standpoint, an interesting point that was discussed is, is renewable still viable in a post-subsidy environment? It's fair to say that subsidies have, uh, subsidies have achieved what they were designed to do in that they, they have brought out private sector investment in renewables. And with that, that, brought, that private sector investment was supported by a lot of institutional capital seeking long-term contractual cash flows underpinned by governments. Now, as we enter a world where the levelized cost of energy is falling, um, increasingly there are less subsidies, um, there's a different risk profile associated with renewables as an asset class. What does this bring? And I think an interesting point discussed on the panel is, is the greater focus on specialists and specialisms. Take North America where across the 50 states of America and the, and the various states in, in Canada. Um, there may be different regulatory regimes uh, in each of those individual states. So if working with partners that are able to, to, to really influence and understand the specific risks is key. To understanding managers that are able to negotiate corporate PPA contracts or increasingly as managers move more towards the development and construction phase of, of the project life cycle, work with those developers and mitigate those risks. Uh, so I think that is going to be key in terms of whether renewables remains a mainstay within infrastructure as an asset class.